uh, so we are long way to our, to our design so in this video I am going to show you how you can and design your analog sensor input port so for analog sensor normally we need um, three pin connection so first one is the VCC pin so second one is the analog sensor input pin and the third one is the ground pin so for connecting any type of analog sensor we need a three pin green connector right so let's uh, find out three pin green connector so we have to go to the add part again and we will search with AK star star or one star will be su sufficient uh, if we search with AK star star we will find the um, CON PTR 500 that is the library of the green connector so you will see a, a green connector with different number of uh, pins so from here we are going to select the three pin green connector and uh, so I think this looks good so I'm going to select this one for our analog sensor input port right okay okay just uh, click on your um, right mouse and then you can see that your component is rotating automatically okay uh, I'm just going to put my sensor uh, input port here okay so as I have told before for analog sensor you can connect any type of analog sensor using three pin right so for that reason for connecting analog sensor what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to uh, use two pin for uh, VCC and ground so that you can power up your analog sensor from here and the third pin is uh, I I'm just keeping third pin for the analog sensor output okay so let's connect a VCC yeah just copy the VCC symbol and connect it here and then copy the ground symbol just again copy the select tool yeah okay and connect the ground symbol here right so I need to move this a uh, little bit um, lower for connecting uh, for uh, connecting my analog sensor output right so this is the output of the analog sensor we will we are going to connect our analog sensor output with this pin okay that means this pin will go with the ADC pin of the microcontroller that is the analog pin this is the Arduino analog pin 0 this is the Arduino analog pin 1 and this one is the Arduino analog pin 2 so I am going to connect my first sensor with Arduino analog pin 0 so as I have told before that I can connect my uh, analog sensor output directly with NAT tool right but I am not going to do this way I am going to do the way I have done before right okay so let's delete this one this time again I'm going to use the uh, label symbol just draw a net to uh, just draw a net a little little bit so that you can connect your label symbol and after that press escape button so that you can release your net symbol right now I have to select the label tool okay select the label tool and you see the uh, this time the level is different from the previous time this is because i have every in, in the pre previous time I've selected the acceptance on so i will select this type of level again and for the size i always prefer uh, 0.032 inch okay that's enough so i have to do uh, the same thing for this pin right okay let's do this for the same yeah yeah okay see if I if I just um, press my um, mouse pointer here you can see that uh, <laughs> the orientation is not um, the uh, right in the sense of okay so I need to just um, press the right click of the mouse to rotate my symbol right now connect it okay the last thing I have to do is to uh, just I have to rename this symbol and this symbol is the same name so I need to select the name tool so this is my analog pin 0 that means a0 okay I will rename this label at the same name of a0 okay now both of the wire are connected so this is this way I can keep my circuit modular okay so there are another advantage of um, connecting this um, analog uh, or analog pin a0 with this pin uh, the another advantage is I can copy this um, circuit so that I can make the copy for the rest of my analog sensor input okay so so in my Arduino uh, Uno I can use uh, four analog um, sensor input so because analog, another two analog sensor input I have used for the real time clock so that is the SCL and SDA so I can use maximum of four analog sensor input with my Arduino Uno so remember this one 
Okay, another thing to remember that I told you before, you have to connect bypass capacitor with all of your, uh, what? You have to connect bypass capacitor with all of your uh, digital and analog um, chip or any type of sensor because bypass capacitor will bypass your noise into the ground, right? So we need a bypass capacitor for uh, connecting our analog sensor properly. Just select a bypass capacitor and connect this bypass capacitor with ground. Oh, so again the same problem happened. The problem, what is the problem? So I'm facing the problem with the grid. So now the grid is, uh, I guess grid is 0 0.01. So I have to change the grid again, 0 0.05. So after that, I can connect everything smoothly. Just remember this one. Okay. Yeah, nice. So I can move this symbol a little bit so that it looks professional. Uh, I can move this one a little bit. And this one as well. Yeah, now everything looks great. Yeah. Okay, so I have connected uh, one analog symbol, oh, sorry, one analog signal with my uh, ADC zero pin. I need to copy this so that I can connect um, rest three of the analog sensor right so let's um, let's figure out the group tool so we need to we need to group tool so that we can co copy all the components together okay after that select the copy tool and this time right click on the copy uh, light right click on any of the components in the same group and just select copy group okay nice i'm just copying the whole group so i need uh, another three of the same thing right okay the first one and this time, I, as I have already copied my, uh, copied the whole group, so I can now select the paste tool, just paste tool. And another one. Yeah, so nice. So what I have to do, now I have to do, I have to just change the label so that I can connect a four of the analog sensor with four of the analog pin of the 80 mega 320 microcontroller, right? Okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay. Just rename all the symbols. Now I need to rename all the symbols. That is a one, and this is a two, a two, and this one is a three. Okay. Similarly, I have to rename all of the symbol from the green connector, and this is a one. And this is A2, A2, and this is A3, A3, so nice, so my analog part design is completed, okay, so maybe uh, I will just do my schematic design for one video, and from the, after that, I will start designing my PCB. So if you have any question, please leave your comment in the comment box. Also, uh, try to subscribe my channel if you think you are getting benefited. And you know that this is a voluntary work. So I will request you to support me on Patreon. So if you also think that you can also buy me a coffee, you are using the following link, you will get the link uh, from my description. Thank you.